In addition to defining read and write permissions by using user group to host group relations, we can also define customizable user roles. This feature was implemented in version 5.2 and starting from 5.2, each user must belong to a specific user role. The assigned user role decides the user type and permissions. So now user types, user, admin, super admin, instead of being assigned on the user, they are assigned on a user role. For example, with user roles, we can finally have a super admin user who has restricted access to specific parts of the UI or a specific set of actions. This is not only useful from the security and granularity standpoint, but also can improve the user experience. For example, if we aren't utilizing a particular interface section or a particular action, we can simply hide it from our users who maybe aren't too experienced with Zabbix and don't work with it primarily in their day-to-day -day job, thus making the navigation within the software a lot more simple, making Zabbix a lot more intuitive for our end users. Zabbix UI and UI actions aren't the only components that we can manage with roles. Roles allow us to define access to specific API methods, either by using allow lists, so which methods we can execute, or deny list, which methods we cannot execute. This way we can hide sensitive information by restricting the API methods that our users can execute. At the end of the day, designing the proper user role schema is a great way to ensure that your environment is secure, supports multiple organizations, and is able to provide the best user experience for your Zabbix users.